What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be doing another knife review for you guys. This is a really cool budget EDC knife that I really enjoy. It's affordable and um, I hope that you guys enjoy it too. Now many of you have probably heard of this knife. There's a lot of reviews on it out there. It's a great, like I said, budget EDC knife. But what we're going to be talking about is the K-Bar Dozier Folding Hunter, the Bob Dozier design. This particular one is the foliage green model with the foliage green scales, which I really, really like that coloration. But what I always like to do is start off by giving you some re just reference points. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, do, and weigh the knife so that you can get a, a weight for the knife. About 2.3 ounces. And I'll weigh it again just so you can see it's teared to zero. The scale is... 2.3 ounces, which is really, really lightweight for the size of knife that you're getting. I'll go ahead and measure it for you. Bring out the tape measure here, just to give you a little bit of a size reference. If I measure it like that, we're looking at about overall, I'd say 7.5 inches, the blade length. We're looking at just over three inches and the cutting edge is just under three inches. So that kind of gives you a reference point if you're looking at the knife and thinking about whether you want to get it based on how lightweight it is or on the size of it. But it's a really good size. It gives you a full four finger grip. I have particularly large hands and I can still get my entire four finger grip on the handle. Um, Speaking of the handle, these are Zytel or plastic handles. Relatively grippy, but n not amazingly grippy. If you're used to holding a Delica or an, uh, or an Endura uh, from Spyderco, those are much, much more grippy. Um, but this one, it in the purpose that I would put this knife in as such somewhat of a utility knife, just an EDC knife, it has plenty of grip on it. It does have some jimping on the top portion of the blade up here. But there's no um, no jimping on the bottom, no choil, nothing like that. It's just it's just plain and simple, which is what why I like it a lot. Um, it's also what gives it such a low price point. But just a really good grip in hand. This particular knife uses, I believe, Os 8A steel, um, which is relatively good for an EDC purpose. Um, you might find yourself resharpening it periodically. Um, if you use it a lot during the day, but you're not going to expect much higher of a quality steel at the price point. Um, speaking of price point, this one I got for under under $20, and generally speaking, these uh, Dozier Design folders, uh, the F Dozier Folding Hunters, are usually under $20. The different colorations that they have, they I believe they have an orange, a pink, and the standard black, as well as this foliage green. Um, this model, which I like the most, has the thumb stud deployment, right-handed only. Um, that thumb stud is only on the right hand. However, if you were to take it apart, unscrew this with that star right there, you would be able to, to um, switch the thumb stud to the other side, but um, it's not on both sides. One small gripe about the knife, but um, overall the deployment's pretty good. It's not amazing or anything. The knife is fairly smooth. If you um, disengage the the back lock, this is a lock back folder. Um, but you know, there's a lot smoother knives out there. But it's definitely deployable uh, pretty quickly. Um, speaking of the lockup, there is a little bit of blade play front to back. Not anything significant. You know, not a whole lot. Just a just a little bit. Um, which is kind of to be expected with an EDC knife like this and a lockback, just kind of how it's designed. Um, you know, you're not going to get a perfect lockup, but it's it's totally fine for an EDC task. I mean, you can't see any wobble there, but I, if I was to really press down, I could just feel a slight amount of up-down blade play, just ever so slightly. Side to side, there isn't any on this one, um, but I do have the, the torque screw torqued down pretty pretty hard. Speaking of the screws on this knife, it has two screws. Basically you can take the knife 
apart completely. Um, pocket clip does have a pocket clip. However, if you remove it, there's going to be a big hole inside of the scales. Um, so if you wanted to carry it without the pocket clip, you could. And I've had a lot, of, a few people actually um, tell me that you can't remove the pocket clip, but you can. There's just going to be a hole in your, in one side of your scale. That looks a little bit awkward if you were to leave the clip off. But I've done it before on past models. Um, on the on most of these, actually I believe on all of them, they have coated blades. Don't know a whole lot about the coating, um, although I, I found it to be about average as far as coatings on knives. Um, this one's fairly new, so you don't see a whole lot of wear on the coating, but I have had uh, past versions of this knife where the coating's worn off or scratched off in several places. So um, that's kind of to, to be expected on any coated knife, really. Um, there's very few that, that will hold up amazingly. I've yet to come across any, actually. Um, but it does have a, um, a pretty large lanyard hole bottom end of the scales so if you wanted to attach a lanyard you could definitely do that uh, without much difficulty yeah overall i really like the knife probably my favorite feature about it is just how thin it is um, it really reminds me of a delica if any of you have owned a delica before it's just a really really thin slim carry um, almost disappears in your pocket which is great in my opinion um, having knives that are wider in diameter are okay but there's something about just a really thin knife that just kind of disappears you don't even notice that you have it um, and I really like that um, some things I don't like about it um, I'd kind of wish that the pocket was a little bit deeper carry but again it's totally sufficient for what it is and it's pretty firm and stiff and it holds a um, holds on to your your pants pocket or whatever you clip it to pretty well um, another gripe I have is that um, I, I'd, I'd prefer more of a full flat grind. This is a hollow grind. Let's see if I can show that. Um, just for the reason that if you're cutting cardboard, um, this makes it a little bit more challenging, that little lip of the grind right there. Uh, but if you just put the tip into the cardboard and cut, um, it works. It works pretty well. Now let's see, my other gripe. Um, you know, really that's that's about it. I would prefer that the thumb stud be on both sides just in case you wanted to deploy it with either your right or left hand but we're really getting picky here for such a high quality knife that's in the under twenty dollar price range you really you really can't do much better than this um, I know it may not be for everyone some people don't like such a um, such a small skinny knife um, but I think for for what it is as an EDC knife it's definitely one of my favorites and anyone can own a knife like this um, and feel happy with it. I don't feel like, man, I wish I had a Spyderco Delico or, you know, a, a different knife when I'm carrying this. I, I feel like this is a quality knife. This is a really cool knife. It has a cool factor to it. And a lot of other people seem to think so as well. Um, so anyways, it's kind of a short review, but a knife that I really like and I wanted to put my... Um, comments and opinions on the knife out there so that's why I did this video and you know if, if you're looking for um, a budget affordable EDC knife or you just haven't picked this knife up because you were on the fence about it I do recommend it but um, if you have a lot, a lot of other cool knives too there's there's definitely tons of other options out there um, in a similar price range so you definitely have your choices but um, definitely one of my favorite knives uh, real slim profile does the job it cuts well os 88 steel os 8a steel made by bob dozier it's a k bar and um, definitely a cool knife it is made overseas i forget where it's made i think it might be like thailand um, i'll annotate that if i'm wrong but for that price point you're not going to get a made in usa knife so um, anyways thanks for watching everyone always appreciate it Hope that this was a helpful review, and I um, hope everyone's doing well. Talk to you later. Peace. Whoa. Peace.